Hello all, tonight we are taking a look at uh, a unit that a lot of people have actually been requesting and for good reason, it's actually a carrier weather maker. I wasn't aware that it was called weather maker until uh, I think it was Ken Bourne commented and said that that was the original name. See, I thought the weather maker, uh, that makes sense though because the super weather maker is a big one and this is just a weather maker. But this is uh, way before the super weather maker. This here is probably like... I don't know, early 60s, mid 60s at the latest. Um, to plug it in quick. Let me hold up. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Okay, now I'm gonna do another video of this unit when I, when it's completely, you know, done and rebuilt. Like I said, it's a little disgusting, but it's not really all that bad. I just, the only thing uh, I have to say before we get started here is, uh, and it's something that I feel like should be addressed because over the past couple of weeks. I'm not mentioning any names, not mentioning how many people. Could be one guy, could be two guys, could be 20 guys, could be nobody, you know, whatever. Um, I had to go through and delete some comments off some of my stuff. And not from the guy who you would think it is either. I'm actually not really sure who it is. I don't really recognize the name, but it don't really fucking matter. Um, and this goes for the other, for, you know, comments and other people's shit too. Um, you guys can say whatever you want in your own videos. I mean, that's fine, but I'm not going to tolerate freaking uh, racist comments on any of my shit. Um, I don't stand for it personally. Um, I wouldn't think that most other people would. But if you do, that's your prerogative. Just keep it off my page. I mean, I, as many other people in this um, group of collectors and shit like that, have followers and friends who are black. Um white all races all different orientations so i'm not going to tolerate any uh i have followers who are gay i mean i personally like titties and pussy but if you like freaking dick that's your business you know what i mean i ain't gonna hold that against you but i'm not what i'm not going to tolerate is um people intimidating or harassing people uh, for any reason on my page because the way i look at it we are all here for a common purpose I think it's time we all start acting like it um like i said you want to freaking spew that freaking hatred nonsense and do it on your uh, do it on your own comments comment on your own page i don't want to see it don't need it and i don't want any of my uh followers to see it i don't give a fuck if you curse you can say i have a mouth of a sailor dude you guys can say comment whatever the hell you want but just don't be disrespectful man that's all i ask to other other users we're not gonna have uh fighting and shit I know uh, we all might disagree on shit sometimes, but you gotta handle it like a man. Don't be stupid about it. Freaking talk it over if it really bothers you that bad. Be the like, ignore it and let it go. I mean, there ain't nothing that we could possibly disagree on that would be worth sacrificing. You know, the decent community we have here. I mean, this is a good place for us all to get information. Freaking, um, you know, help each other out. You know, solving problems, giving advice, showing off our collector's pieces. You know, whatever, just freaking enough of the nonsense. Seriously, I, I don't need to see that, and neither does anybody else. This is a, a serious community, and uh, most people in here, you know, use it as such. And I appreciate all my followers, and, I, and I'm and i grateful for every single one of them. And uh, I would like to keep them all, so... Like I said, all I'm asking is let's move on from this freaking nonsense we have going on and start getting serious. Anyway, um... There's something else. I have a camera. Hmm. The hell? I, I think I was going to say something. I can't remember. If I remember before the end of the video, I'll throw it back in. But anyway, let's take a look at this freaking uh, weather maker right here. Sorry I had to go on that freaking tangent, but it, it's something I felt that needed to be addressed because uh, it's just becoming a problem as of late, and it's very, it's very frequent anymore. Anyway, let's see here. We got a, uh, got the wiring diagram. If anyone would need to see that, there it is. That's a data plate. I was expecting a pancake compressor in here. Now, it's not that. Fans are freaking lube up good. This chassis design is very strange. It uses a um, double pass condenser. And it seems to be per it seems to be a pretty good design actually, because I know a lot of double passes are kind of like it's kind of like a flaw in a way. This one here seems to be uh, relatively functional. I'm gonna fire it up in a second. I 
it has what looks like, yeah, it looks like an AJ. And I can't really see the tag because of, I don't know if I can fit the phone in there or not. But I don't, I don't think I'll be able to focus. I was looking at this at first thinking, wow, this is going to be a bitch to take this apart. But actually, it don't look too bad. It looks like it just... Let me think about this for a minute. Because I'm kind of... I'm still second-guessing that. Yeah, it looks like it just holds on by these two freaking things. Oh, no, that's just for the freaking... Okay, never mind. Okay, I get it. it looks like the evaporator gets held on to the chassis by these two freaking pieces of steel that come up on both sides here. And it looks like this whole piece sits in this floats in there, so it looks like this whole piece here disconnects and fucking comes up. And then the whole entire fan shroud, the fan shroud and everything, and they, just like that Admiral over there was set up. So everything comes out in one piece, and you had the cooling system attached to the base pan. And this is smart because the way they did it, you see that they have it elevated about a quarter inch off the bottom of the base pan, which is great. It really helped out with keeping the, uh, well, sort of helped with keeping the steelwork clean on the bottom here. Uh, but like I said, a lot of these carriers, the weather makers, it, it freaking uh, rotted away like right around here. And a lot of times this is pretty much flat. So luckily this one here seems to be in pretty good shape yet. And, uh, no, I'm not selling it. But I will do a demo on it. I had to lube the controls up a little bit because they were sticking and some of them were really hard to push. But you got ventilate, which is completely pretty much useless, but it does work. I gotta adjust it too because it only closes when you when you put it down the exhaust, but then that opens up, so it's like fuck man. Alright. Fans on high. Anyway, let's hear the uh, compressor start up. A little bit of low cool. We're gonna shift it on up. Pressure already. That's blowing hot air out of here. I don't want to let it run too too long like that because it's not cycling the you know it's not cooling down the condenser properly with this open. This is the case is solid on both sides, so that can be installed either with the window kit and it has a, I have the window kit for it. All it is is that basically it looks like a kind of like a Chrysler kit with the you know the rectangle opening and then braces that hold it down and the tray extends out. So this kind of slides right into that, but that unit there can be installed either through the wall or in a window. Although I wouldn't recommend installing it even through the wall without the window kit because it won't be slide out for servicing. So it looks like this wasn't silver, this is actually white at one point, and I guess this carrier logo was blue and white. Yeah, it's in decent shape, I mean, overall. All, the, all these are getting sweaty, so I do believe this to have a full charge. Although the very top here doesn't seem to stay. Yeah, it's pretty cool up there now. I don't like the way that looks though. But all these all look okay. The only thing I really don't like in here is see how the how the refrigerant lines are uh It's running down there already. The grill to this is awesome. I have all the little slat pieces for the back. I just got to put it together. All these freaking uh, louver, you know, the directional louvers. If I can make that, you know, perfect again. But I love the plane design here. It's awesome. Air direction pulls out to aim down. Like I said, I'll be putting a. I'll be doing a. Uh, 
this will probably be my next candidate for the full restoration and take down. And of course, I will have um, videos and photos up. I actually can't do. I still got to play my Flickr account too. I'm having a hard time with. That's why I haven't had photos up lately. I know I said peace out, but that wasn't intended to be permanent. Case is in decent shape. It ain't rotted. Nah. So yeah, this is a uh, good candidate. This will be a great running unit once it's. You know, done. I'm really, like I said, the Cosmopolitan, I'll be honest with you, maybe the plain one is different, but I like the, I really like the plain grill better than the fancy Cosmopolitan grill. But I love the nine vents, but this is built way better. I mean, I do like the plastic, you know, base pans on the Cosmo. I think that's genius because you don't got to worry about rust. However, I just feel like once I, once you get a part that freaking starts cracking or from too much vibration, you know, we like, you know, free, uh, you know, the expansion and contraction during the summer or the during the winter time if it's left in it'll start to make it crack and then you get shit hitting and banging and the pain ass to get everything lined up and for some reason the, none of the ones i pulled out of there really blew that cold except for the one kb uh souped up for me on the refrigerator that was pretty cool that one runs good and uh the one kb has was probably the best running one but he says even that struggles sometimes but these weather makers freaking run nice. I feel like that should be blown a little bit colder, but it's still, it's still pretty good. Well, anyway, folks, that's about all I really got right now until uh, let that cool down a little bit. I can dance around me. I said until then, until I get this, you know, start the restoration process on it, it's going to be all I got for now. Yeah, see, it's still sticking a little bit. Oh well. But yeah, like I said, freaking, um, just keep in mind what I said. And if you guys have any, uh, anything to talk about in your own channel that's freaking hate filled, go for it. And, uh, also, um, I know, I know a couple times I've gotten freaking pissed off about shit, and I apologize if I ever freaking, you know, attacked anybody. It's just that it's getting out of hand lately, and freaking hopefully we can put all the shit behind us. Um, also, another thing, and freaking, I was somewhat guilty of it on Flickr. You can post fucking political videos, political comments on my page all you want. Just be respectful about it. I mean, I'm a die I'm about as big of a diehard Trumper as they possibly come. However... Also, just like if uh, having all different races and orientations follow me and in our community, we also have a couple different, you know, people of different political parties in our uh, community too. So let's keep that in mind and try not to be disrespectful toward anybody. And uh, it's really that simple. Be kind always, man. Send good vibes, freaking just be a decent person. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this year's carrier and, uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll be looking at the um, updated videos shortly. Um, should have some free time. Hopefully, have some free time coming up in the next couple weeks where I can actually work on that a little bit. Anyway, y'all, peace out. Have fun. And uh, like I said, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, as always, uh, thoughts, opinions, anything, fucking feel free to uh, feel free to leave me a comment.